here today with Nick and AJ from the Backstreet Boys. Hi. How are you guys doing? How are you? How are you? Good, good. Okay, right before I got here, I saw your new um, mini documentary, is that what we're going to call it? With yes. Snack Street. Yeah. Yes. Who are your Chex Mix themed rivals. Yeah. Right. Um, so I know one of the biggest problems you guys have had with Snack Street is that they kind of ripped off one of your songs. Uh, yeah, they damn near copyright yeah. infringement. I mean, yeah. I mean, the song is called Snack Street's Back. That's it. Be any more obvious? I don't think so. No. no. Um, so have you ever, in real life, felt like another band was just like a little too close to home to one of your songs, like in the past twenty <laughs> years? <laughs> um, I mean, look, you know, when you when you work with a lot of the same producers and same writers. Melodies will probably cross each other a few times. There's no way to really. There's only so many melodies throughout musical history. Period. So there's always going to be different variations of the same melody. Uh, but uh, I think it's flattering, obviously, if, if anyone kind of takes a melody that's very familiar as far as a Backstreet Boys song. Um, but I'm sure we've done it without even realizing it ourselves. So I mean, you know, that's what makes a great pop song. Exactly. I mean, it happens all the time, and I don't. I don't know if it's Sometimes you'll hear like your know, Tom Petty saying that uh, Sam Smith ripped them off, stuff like that. Right. But yeah. they, if good music is good music. Yeah, exactly. As long as it's new and fresh, like the best toys in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> um, since you guys are, are the boy band, like geniuses here, looking at like One Direction, you guys have been through that kind of breakup, get back together thing. Do you think we'll ever see them back together? Or maybe not. Who knows? Um, you, the one thing about us that Think was a little different is that Kev, we didn't really break up. Kevin decided to take a little break so that he could raise his family. Um, uh, about seven years of a break, long break, but still, <laughs> we did two albums um, with just the four of us. So we continued on. So I guess that's kind of what they did a little yeah. bit. Um, so, but I mean, it's it's hard to tell. It, I think only time will tell. And. I think if they if they um, if they love their fans as much, you know, if they really appreciate and love their fans, they'll, they'll stay together, and that's the way we feel. Like uh, our fans mean everything to us, and we never wanted to let them down. We never wanted to to um, to let them go. I don't think you ever have. I mean, I've been a fan since I was ten years old, <laughs> and I've never felt let down by you guys. Um, and there's so much to be excited about. I mean, you guys just did a single with uh, Florida Georgia Line. Is that song anything like what the new music you guys know is going to be like? I, I mean, we're we're still just now kind of tapping into the creative process right now. We're probably about six, seven months into the writing creative process. Um, but I mean, this was just a collaboration that kind of presented itself. We found out that they're huge BSB fans as well as that we're huge FGL fans. So the natural progression was let's do a song together. Yeah. And uh, but I mean, who knows what this next album is going to. Entail. I mean, it could be R and B, it could be country, it could be pop, it could be all of it. We don't know yet. We're still trying to figure that out. But we're definitely going to push the envelope and try to make this the best possible record we, we possibly can. It's our tenth album, um, coming up on twenty-four years together. So, uh, you know, expect great music, brand new tour next year, and uh, brand new album. So exciting! And, and you just found out you're going to be a dad again, mm -hmm. and you just had your first child. Does that affect how you're planning to tour or how you're planning to work? Uh, when you when you know your due date, um, you, you got to try to, you know, I don't want to say this and make it sound horrible, but you have to fit it in the schedule. But we've all been great with each other, you know, making sure that, that we have time either before or right after our children are born and to have some quality time at home. Um, now that we kind of, along with our management, really run our career, we can really kind of dictate what is the best non-stressful scheduling for all of us. Um, so, uh, in March, not too much going on when my baby's going to be born, so we'll we'll see. Hopefully That's there's not a whole lot going on. So exciting. Congratulations to you both. Like, that's so exciting. I mean, you can see regular dads with a regular job, at, like in an office, that can't find that time to find a way to fit into their schedule. And so it's just so impressive that you guys, well, all of you actually managed to do it. Um, <laughs> no, please. No, I will uh, never fault you for singing. Secret song later. <laughs> um, so also, there's been so much talk of Vegas. And I know that you guys are fitting in nine tour dates in Vegas or nine. 
this before you know honestly it, we just think that it's going to take the right moment we've done stuff like this yeah. before we we went on tour with the new kids on the block and it was a huge show and it was one of those for the ages type thing that um you know people that happens every once in a blue moon or whatever you want to call it so we feel that if we did that with the spice girls it could be that big and that epic and, and that it's memorable yeah. and it's memorable because because we were of the same era, in the same time. We came out, came out around the same time. They released their single the first time that they did it, the same time as us. So, uh, but it really just takes it takes them kind of getting together and letting us know. Guys, call them. All, so all about the timing. I would love to see something like that go down. Um, let's do a rapid fire kind of. And I'll say a, a, like a, a, a sentence, and you guys kind of just say which Backstreet Boy is best described by this. Right? Oh, okay. Are you ready for this? And then they broke this? up. Why? Ah, no. Hopefully not. Um, okay, which one of you is more likely to fall victim to a celebrity death hoax? Kevin? Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't Kevin have a He did. He, uh, yeah. Well, we all died in a plane crash once. But no, no. Kevin was, <laughs> Something happened. Kevin was rumored to be in, I think, well, in Andrew the Vampire. He was supposed to be in, yeah. Yeah, probably Kevin though. He's still he's still waiting for that check, yeah. by the way. Um, which one of you will come up with a memoir first? You <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of already did. I did like one. Like, yeah, yeah, so that would be Nick for sure. Nick, okay. Uh, who would run for president? Kevin. I would. Kevin. And uh, you do not Kevin want to be, be my advice. Oh damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally in town right now. Actually, that would be a fun one. AJ would be the one. Oh, I'd be the best. White House party. Chip! <laughs> Love it. Okay, which one of you is most likely to spoil your kids? I mean, I think we all do it in a different yeah, way. I haven't gotten to that phase yet. Literally, yeah. When I go out to do anything during the day, I always come back with something. And my wife's oh. like, Ava has enough. She's growing up. Oh my gosh. Stop buying her sneakers. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I don't blame you, but they're so cute. It's hard not to. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You. you guys have a great day. What um, what oh. can we expect? What? Oh, what we can expect? Well, you can expect um, that actually what's coming out today mm -hmm. um, is releasing is these mini videos that we're uh, doing with Check Mix. Just make sure you guys check them out on YouTube and um, Facebook. It's a Check Mix is YouTube and Facebook. Right. That's the Snap Street rivalry. Hilarious. Check, check it out. It's so funny. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank, Thank you guys. You. I really appreciate it. Bye guys. Bye Hollywood Lifers.